Hey guys, this is Reggie with A Team Appliance, aka the appliance, the appliance, the washer dryer repair nerd. So I love what I do, and to get on to the the guts of this stuff. So why am I showing you this old rusted out wash tub? Um, this is a Whirlpool direct drive wash tub. It's upside down, and it's going to the scrapyard. It's on my trailer. So start. It's, it's the first victim. Just going to unload it. <clears throat> and I noticed. So anyway, I was going to. Uh, Frankenstein this into another machine, but you know this stuff was all rusted and it was just a pain in the, in the neck So I decided not to even uh, so I had to punt it and use it for parts Because um, I just think things are rusted up. I couldn't get the screw off and you know, at a certain point. I'm like is it worth my time? No <laughs> I mean, It's probably is fixable or whatever, but you know, I know some people bust out the welding kit and all that crap It's not worth your time. I can have like the other machines fixed by the time I'm done messing with this thing um, And good thing I didn't put time into it because I noticed This crack You can see that Under the tub So if I did all that work and Frankenstein did the thing would have been leaking on me and um, These cracks are very common. So if you ever uh have a whirlpool washer that's leaking lots rarely it'll come from the middle which would be a tub seal it happens but it's rare um, but a lot of times these tubs crack so easily um, especially if you're rough with them or you or you like you know you take them off your truck and slam it to the ground this will break um, usually I think it's because of these fins man um, let me show you how it may have happened so this is a tub, this is the balancer. So that's another thing too, if you ever transport a whirlpool washer on the side, if it's off balance, a lot of times these balancers will be like this um, because the tub was put sideways and just moved. And when you put it back side up, it stayed like this and you had boom, 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 boom. So let's make sure this is, like this is lined up with the metal, basically. So this, to me, this is almost like an arrow, boom. Um, so back on subject, um, what was I talking about? Oh, the crack. So uh, look out for that crack. Uh, oh, and sometimes how it happens too, you slam it and this balancer will actually hit the hit this part and it pushes in on it and cracks it. Um, but this is fixable if you know if you're just getting started on flipping washers and dryers or you don't have a lot, you know you got a lot of time on your hands because it's, it's really not worth the labor because it's, it's so many of these things available. Um, and the parts are so good and needed, <clears throat> but this is fixable. What you'll have to do is remove the inner tub and seal it from the inside, not the outside. You want to seal it from the inside. And I've got something that I use. A plumber friend of mine showed me. This isn't the exact thing, but it looks just like this, but in a red can. I mean, in a blue can. Um, this probably will, will do the job too. But there, uh, it's called like pipe dope. Some plumbers call it pipe dope. And when they're putting together PVC, they'll put this in the PVC and it bonds the PVCs together, the, the joints. Um, and this stuff is incredible because uh, it actually like melts the plastic together. Like if you use that stuff uh, on here, you'll see it might bubble a little bit because it's, uh, it's almost melting the plastic together and hardens. Um, so I would take this, another piece of hard plastic, and put it over the crack. I wouldn't use flex seal or anything like that because you're using water as pressure. I mean, it's not pressure, pressure, but you know, when it spins, it's a lot of movement with the water. Um, and that, that, that plastic, piece of plastic may come loose and catch and, and you, have, you have a whole nother problem. Um, but I'll use another piece of hard plastic and this cement, uh, the blue one, you get them at Home Depot, Lowe's and uh, make a patch. And put that on there and it will, it'll work like a charm um yeah this this stuff is really really good man it, it bonds the stuff together so um use that in a pinch so this is reggie ae team appliance uh, if you have any questions uh feel free to ask and i'll try to answer them as as much as i can um, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so i can keep giving you guys little nuggets um, as i fix machines and you know share it with the world and you know we all share each other man iron sharp is iron this is Reggie, A Team Appliance.